everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Plays. I'm on the line with legendary singer Petula Clark. Hello. Hello, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Very happy to be here in these warm parts after coming in from New York. <laughs> yes, okay, good. So when you were a kid, you sang on BBC during the air raid, um, and that had to be a little scary. Were you scared? I tell you what, we, we were. You know, I, I had been living in London, and I was used to the bombs and, the, you know, all that stuff going on. And uh, some of the kids, there were other kids who were scared. But um, frankly, you know, I, I was a bit sort of uh, used to it, I suppose. So, no, to answer your question, I wasn't scared. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm not sure if I'd be scared or not. So... <laughs> Um, when like, you've been performing for over 70 years, when you first started out, you were about six years old, um, and kids have all kinds of obstacles while growing up. Did you have any obstacles as a kid, and how did you overcome it? Well, quite honestly, I didn't, you know, I didn't get, get to school that much. You know, I was I was working, I was making movies, mm -hmm. and I was doing concerts, and then I started doing, you know, I was doing radio, and then started doing television. Um, I was in and out of school, and that became a little a bit of a problem because I was always a bit behind. You know, I, I, yeah. uh, you know, it took, took me a long time to catch up with stuff, and, and I don't think I'd ever really caught up. You know, mm -hmm. I can't do math or anything like that. So. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah my, my my schooling did suffer. Yes. Okay. Um, I think the biggest thing that people think with a child performer is how, like, they sort of freak out from everything. And Brenda Lee told me that her mom and her religion kept her grounded. And Tony Putella from The Letterman said he just always loved what he did. How did you deal with performing as a kid through a young adult and still stay grounded? Oh, I, um, my, my father was kind of my manager, and he was very strict, and he didn't he didn't want to have a showbiz brat um, as his daughter, and so uh, you know I I took my work very seriously, and uh, yeah, I, I, I never once spoiled. So, so I guess that uh, yeah, I've always had my feet on the ground, and I still do actually. Yes. Okay, that's really good. Um, I love your song Downtown and Don't Sleep in the Subway because I really love New York. Um, so what is your favorite song and why is it your favorite? Well, I would agree with you about Don't Sleep in the Subway. Um, of course, I love Downtown. I, I love yes. all of the songs that uh, Tony Hatch wrote for me. He wrote Downtown, Subway, and, and, and many other big hits for me. And I would agree with you about New York. I love it. <laughs> um <laughs> But, you know, I've sung so many songs in my career um, that they weren't all hits, and, and, and I've loved every one of them, so uh, it's very hard for me to say which would be my favorite, but some way would be certainly uh, one of them. Yes, okay, good. Um, and John Lennon said that you were his favorite female singer. Did you ever sing with the Beatles or work with John Lennon? No, I never actually sang with them, but I, I met them all individually, and uh, I saw Paul recently in London. Um, I saw him on a railway station, actually, <laughs> in, right in the middle of a railway station. Um, and, and John, I met several times, and yes, uh, he never told me to my face that, uh, that, uh, that I was his favorite singer, but, but that was, that's rather nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, and pop, you're like a pop star, Broadway, uh, TV, songwriting, composing. Is there one area where you feel really great about? Like, um, did you think that you couldn't do it, but you succeeded in it? And is there one of those um, that people... Like, did people um, ever say that you couldn't do something? Like, when I talked to Darius Rucker, he said that people um, said that he couldn't be a, a country singer. So, is there something that you did even when people said you couldn't do it? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm not, not, I can't really say that. I mean, there are, obviously, there are some things I do better than others. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, there are some people who think that I'm, I'm an actress who mm -hmm. sings. Yeah. Some people think, and other people, I'm a singer who acts. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, I've done a lot of acting, and I really love to do that. I love performing with other people on stage. You know, but, but right now, you know, I'm doing concerts, and yeah. I just have my musicians, and I'm alone on the stage. Uh, I like that, too. Yeah. Um, 
I also like songwriting a lot. That's that's something that I'm doing more and more of. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting better, but I'm doing more <laughs> of it. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, I just have a quick question. Um, I I I love the Muppet Show, and I um I saw you on there one time, and how was that and stuff? Oh, I tell you, it was such fun. Um, that, that was done in England, actually. It was done in mm-hmm. London, and uh, I mean, I mean, you, you, it took us about a week to do the show, really? and after about two days, you you were totally in another world, you know. Mm-hmm. And the, the people who were who were actually producing it and doing the you know all, the, all those amazing voices and, and the actual puppets themselves that they seemed absolutely real. I mean, I found myself having a real conversation with with uh, with with one of the puppets, and I, I felt like an idiot, you know. But <laughs> they were so real. It, it was it was great fun, great fun. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. And you've got a CD out that, and all the money goes towards an organization called Art Therapy. Um. And what is that like? What What makes that um, organization so special to you? And your song "Butterflies in the Snow." Um. Was that inspired by something? Well, the title of the song "Butterfly in the Snow" is. I mean, you very rarely see a butterfly in the snow, yes. and these. These children, these people are very rare, they're very unusual, and many of them have been uh, traumatized, they're, they're in hospital, they're being treated medically, but they also are treated by art therapy, which is music and art to, to help them get over their, uh, their mental traumas, and sometimes it, it, it definitely affects them physically too, they're, they're, uh, it's, uh, it started the one that I've been working with is in Switzerland, in Geneva, but it, it, it exists all over the world. It's it's a very important thing, and, I, and I'm very proud to be part of it. Yes, okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that we don't have more time, but I'm, I'm in my dressing room as, as I speak to you, and uh, yeah. I have people waiting for, for me okay. outside. So I have to go. Okay, good. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. So. Not at all, and I wish you much luck. Much okay. luck to you. Bye-bye.